Hello everybody and welcome to my Minecraft bucket tutorial on how to install permissions EX. This is a kind of like a group manager, but it's easier to install than the group manager plugin. I know a lot of you think that's not true, but it is. And it, it is a lot better. But um this version comes with four plugins that you're gonna need. And you're gonna need essentials too. So let's get essentials first because this is easiest to take care of. Go into your internet browser and type in bucket.org. This will be in the description. Go to get plugins and search up essentials. And then click on a collection of useful commands. Download the core, essentials core download. I already have it so I'm not going to do it and then um, you can X out of this page once you've downloaded it and then leave this up and then you should once you're done you should get a folder just like this open up your server go into plugins and drag all of these in and then run your server and once you go back into your plugins folder you should see folders starting to be created and then you're done with essentials. Good as that. Okay. I don't know why I just did that. But now you're going to need permissions EX. So type that into the buckets. And you should see tomorrow's today. You should get to this. And it looks something... Yeah, it looks something like it would be confusing, but it's not. We go down here to stable version. <coughs> Excuse me. And like I said, I'm not going to download it again because I already do have it. And now you're done with Bucket. Next out of that, as soon as you got your file downloaded and you have it in front of you. And it should look something like this. Now drag all of these in and then go to your server and then type in R E L O A D reload and then it should reload and once it says reload complete you should see more folders start to pour in first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to chat manager and in the description there will be a link to notepad plus plus is if you are planning on keeping your server up for a long time and getting a lot more plugins then by god you're going to need this because um, it when you open up a notepad, it's got a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo everywhere. But once you right click and edit with Notepad Plus Plus, it's a lot easier to edit with. And now you wanna sir, you wanna change this to true. File save. And now there will be now once we go back to plugins, we're gonna go into the permissions. EX folder and then edit that with Notepad++ and in the description there will be um, a something that the owner already configured and there's groups that I th personally think you guys would like if you're planning on having your server public which is really what permissions is for but I already have it here so I'm going to just come and copy it and then paste it into here then up here you're going to want to replace your name here with minecraft legend or whatever your minecraft name is but i personally don't think people should have to go on the internet or do some ridiculous process to get building rates i think they should just have them when they come in because you never know who you can trust really or not they could act sweet one day and then your server could be grief the other day but it doesn't matter to me so um, I set member to true the default the true so that means when people sign in for the first time they're gonna be a member and guest to false which means people will never be guest I mean but you wanna keep the guest because the member inherits or else you're just gonna have to copy all these and paste all these and risk messing something up when you could just put inheritance guest and just keep this and once you file, save that, and if you followed all the directions carefully, you can reload your server again. 
and then open up your Minecraft. Log into your account. Multiplayer. Go down to your server. And then it should have owner by your name. Um, for me, the first time I did this, um, it wouldn't work without essentials. So I guess you're going to have to get essentials, but I'm not sure. But essentials is a great command to have any, or uh, plug in to have anyways. But yeah, and you can do any command you desire. I've, yeah, you can do any command you desire. Reload. You could do AFK. Okay. But yeah, I hope this helped a lot. And. Um, next time, I think I'm going to be showing you how to install factions. Factions is kind of like essentials, but we're going to go into configuring it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please recommend this video to your friends if they were having trouble. Um, feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. And uh, this is Bucket Server Helps.